In this video, we'll cover all you need to know before traveling to San Diego, including maps, transportation, where to stay, prices, best apps, best city views, and much more. Here are our 11 essential tips. Number 11. The map of San Diego. San Diego sits on the coast of the Pacific Ocean, right on the border with Mexico. It is located 120 miles or 190 kilometers south of Los Angeles. Let's start with Balboa Park, a large urban cultural park in San Diego, full of beautiful gardens, fascinating museums, theaters and other attractions like the world-famous San Diego Zoo, Japanese Friendship Garden, etc. Little Italy, a popular neighborhood in downtown San Diego, offers authentic Italian restaurants, bars, retail shops, home design stores and galleries. If you continue towards the seaside, you will find the Waterfront Park, Maritime Museum of San Diego and the USS Midway Museum, a decommissioned aircraft carrier which is now a museum located at Navy Pier. If you continue south, you will get to the Seaport Village, a unique shopping area with miles of walking paths and you will finally get to Embarcadero Marina Parks. If you turn east, you will get to another beautiful San Diego neighborhood, the Gaslamp Quarter, referred to as the historic heart of San Diego, a historic downtown district and the city center of entertainment and nightlife. You can't miss Coronado, with a fantastic view of San Diego's skyline, home to beautiful beaches and and the historic beachfront Hotel del Coronado established in 1888. Another beautiful spot to visit in San Diego is Point Loma with the Cabrillo Monument. Right before you enter the National Park, there is the Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery, a federal military cemetery. Shelter Island and Harbor Island Park also offer some of the most beautiful views towards the San Diego skyline. Let's continue towards the north where you'll find sunset cliffs. If you're in the neighborhood, don't miss the Liberty Station, formerly a US naval base and now the site of the well-known Liberty Public Market, home to an impressive food market hall, restaurants and an arts and crafts area. Don't forget to visit Old Town San Diego, a historic neighborhood consisting of constructed homes and craft shops in the 1800s mission style, recreating the life of the Mexican and early American periods. And don't miss the Spruce Street Suspension Bridge, built in 1912 to provide pedestrians with a link to new trolley lines across the deep canyon. SeaWorld San Diego, an aquatic theme park, and Mission Beach, a popular place for surfing, sunbathing, and other outdoor activities, are located north of San Diego. Right after Mission Beach, you will find La Jolla, a charming community with beautiful seaside. To get a better sense of the distance, a 1.1 mile or 2.2 kilometer walk from Little Italy to Gaslamp Quarter takes about 30 minutes. San Diego International Airport is located only about 2 miles or 3 kilometers from downtown San Diego. If you're arriving by train, you will most likely arrive at the Santa Fe Depot Station. Number 10. Weather and Climate San Diego has Mediterranean climate, with consistent weather throughout the year, with little to no extreme weather or rainfall. Temperatures in the winter are generally mild, ranging between 48 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 and 19 degrees Celsius. There is not a lot of rain, except for the El Nino, which produces rainfall and storms. The coldest month is January, with an average of 42 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 degrees Celsius. In the spring, the weather is pleasant, with a warmer temperature and less rainfall. Temperatures range between 42 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 and 20 degrees Celsius. Summer is nice and hot with little rain. There can be a blanket of fog during May or June, often called the May Gray or June Gloom. Temperatures range between 65 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 and 26 degrees Celsius. August is the hottest month with an average temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. Weather in the fall is still warm in September and part of October, but then quickly becomes colder. Temperatures range between 54 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 and 25 degrees Celsius. Of course, these are all just averages. The weather and temperature can be different when you visit, so remember to always check the weather forecast before you travel. Number 9. Best time to visit. The best time to visit San Diego is in March and April in the spring and definitely before May to avoid the May Gray. 
August and September are also great months to visit because the weather is warm and you can avoid the tourist crowds. Summer gets lots of tourists and higher prices, but the weather is still pleasant. The cheapest time to visit San Diego is in the fall when there are fewer tourists and the prices of accommodation are lower. And how can you figure out the best days and hours to see the attractions? Just check Google to see how crowded a specific location is at a particular time of day. Of course, we recommend going early during the week and or in the morning. San Diego is not a big city. Many travelers stay in San Diego for three days to see the main attractions and soak in the atmosphere. If you want a more relaxed experience, you can stay an extra day or two. Number 8. Where to stay and prices of accommodation. If this is your first time in San Diego, choose to stay downtown, where you'll have many of the best sites, bars and restaurants just minutes away. For nightlife, stay close to the gas lamp quarter. If you're on a budget, stay in the old town, outside the city center. By the way, an area just outside Old Town is called the Hotel Circle and offers great prices of accommodation. If you're traveling with a family, Mission Bay near SeaWorld is a good option. A mid-range hotel double room in San Diego costs between $150 and $250 per night. For budget hotels, the average is $75. Hostels cost around $25 to $35 per night on average. Alternatively, you can rent an Airbnb apartment that sleeps up to 4 people for about $130. Again, these are all just average prices and the ranges for different hotel categories are quite extensive. And in the summer or during the weekends, the accommodation can be more expensive. However, with a little research online, you can get better deals, especially if your dates are flexible and you don't travel in high season. Check out our video on the best apps for booking your stay. Number 7 transportation from and to the airport to get to and from San Diego International Airport you can use a bus an MTS trolley Amtrak inner city and coaster commuter train airport shuttle taxis limousines Uber or Lyft and car rentals arriving by train you can travel to San Diego by train from numerous cities with Amtrak if you're arriving from outside San Diego, you will arrive at a Santa Fe Depot station located in downtown. Arriving by car. You can use Google Maps to get driving directions to San Diego. Parking in the city center is limited, especially during the day, so it might be challenging to find a spot. Laws and regulations are strictly enforced when it comes to parking. Parking meters are active from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and cost 25 cents per 12 or 15 minutes. In many open space parking places, you can only park for up to two hours. You can also park in one of the parking garages for $1 per hour and from $20 to $25 per day. Alternatively, you can book one of the many hotels in the city that offer parking. Getting around the city. Although San Diego is not that big, the sites are spread out throughout different neighborhoods, so using public transportation is a convenient option. You can use the following modes of transportation. Bus, trains, trolleys, a ferry, Uber or Lyft, taxis, bikes, car rentals, and other forms of transportation. If you use public transportation, such as the bus and trolley, you will pay $2.50 for a one-way ticket. You can get a compass card for a $2 fee. The card can be reloaded or you can use it to buy a day pass, which costs $6. You can pay for your ticket on any bus, fare box or trolley ticket vending machines. Check out our travel guide for more information and prices. By the way, our travel guide is a mobile-friendly PDF document that you can store on your phone for offline use. It covers the top 10 things to do in San Diego plus 10 additional attractions, maps, links, opening hours and other information that will help make your trip to San Diego stress-free. Number 6. General information. Here are some other things you should know for a pleasant and smooth experience in San Diego. Drinking water. It is perfectly safe to drink tap water in San Diego. Drinking water fountains are available throughout the city. Toilets. Public toilets are available in San Diego. If you want to see where public toilets are located, you can use an app on your phone, but more about that later. Free Wi-Fi. 
you can get free Wi-Fi at plenty of outdoor and indoor hotspots all over the city, including restaurants, fast food places, cafes, bars and hotels. Crowds and lines. San Diego is a popular destination, so be prepared to wait in line, especially in the summer months and around big tourist attractions. The same goes for restaurants and other public places. Even if you can't avoid all the crowds, you can do some things to make your trip to San Diego a more pleasant experience. You can avoid peak seasons, avoid traveling during rush hours, get up early in the morning to explore the city without the crowds, use Google Maps or similar app to check how crowded a specific location is at a particular time of day. Safety. San Diego is generally a very safe place for tourists. A few areas are better avoided by night, but they are usually not located near tourist attractions. Typical for all major cities around the world, beware of pickpockets, car break-ins are also relatively common. Watch your valuables and use common sense. For emergency services, dial 911. Number 5. For international travelers. Travel adapters. If you're coming from outside the US, you will probably need a special US travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. The power plugs in the United States are type A and type B. We recommend purchasing a travel adapter before traveling to San Diego. In fact, it's worth buying a universal travel adapter so you can use it in other countries too. Currency. United States use US dollars. At the time of making of this video, one dollar is worth approximately 90 euro cents and 77 pence. It is better to exchange your money before you travel. Also, always check the exchange rate before traveling. Most hotels, stores and the restaurants in the city accept major credit cards like Visa and MasterCard. But make sure to always have some cash with you just in case. ATMs and money exchange. In San Diego, ATMs typically charge a $3 fee. You can check with your home bank if they have an agreement with a US bank to see if you can avoid paying ATM fees. It's also best to withdraw as few times as possible to avoid multiple ATM fees. You can choose to exchange your foreign cash at currency exchange offices, but commission varies widely, so always compare the exchange rate on your phone to the board displayed in the exchange office prepaid SIM cards and pocket Wi-Fi's. You can purchase a prepaid SIM card to access the internet on your phone. Some options provided by local carriers are T-Mobile, 3 and AT&T. You can buy one that includes the internet before you get to the city and have it delivered to you. Alternatively, you can consider renting a pocket Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot. See our travel guide for more information. Number 4. Best Apps Your phone can be your best buddy in San Diego. Here are some great apps you can use. Balboa Park Official App An interactive guide to the park's museums, art, venues, gardens and zoo. Little Italy San Diego A helpful tool for exploring the Italian community in the city. Groupon for promo codes and saving alerts for nearby dining and other deals. TripAdvisor and Yelp for reviews of restaurants, hotels, museums, tours, etc. Spot Hero or Park Quiz to find and book parking near your destination. Uber and Lyft for getting around the city. Move it to find an updated schedule for your public transportation. Google Maps or Apple Maps for walking, public transportation, driving, etc. Google Maps also lets you download maps, which is a great option if you don't want to use roaming. Sit or squat or flush for finding public restrooms. Tap to find the nearest drinking water fountain, Wi-Fi map or Wi-Fi finder, which helps you find Wi-Fi throughout San Diego. Number 3. Food and prices. San Diego has plenty of dining options and offers a great variety of international and traditional dining. We suggest using Yelp or TripAdvisor to find nearby places with good reviews. Try to avoid restaurants at or next to major tourist attractions, you will often get a much higher price-quality ratio at a local place away from the main attractions. An inexpensive restaurant meal costs about $15 on average, and a three-course meal at a mid-range restaurant is from $40 to $80. Being close to the ocean, and the border with Mexico, the city offers a variety of amazing food like the famous fish tacos. A small dish of fish tacos is around $4. As for drinks in bars, a coffee costs from around $4, a bottle of water about $2, same for a bottle of soda, a pint of beer from around $5 to $8, a glass of wine and a cocktail goes for around $7 to $12. Of course, prices are higher in front of the famous tourist places. There are plenty of great cheap 
cheap eats in San Diego. Check out our travel guide for maps with the best cheap eats. Tipping. You should always tip in bars, restaurants and hotels in the United States. The standard rate is between 15 and 20 percent. It is also normal to give about $2 to $5 tip to the hotel staff, attendants, etc. and from 10 to 20 percent for your Uber driver. Number 2 city passes and exploring the city. If you want to save on attractions, you can choose from either Go San Diego Pass or the Southern California City Pass. Both options offer free entry to some top attractions, various kinds of discounts and more. Check out Travel Guide for current prices and links. A great way to discover San Diego is by a walking tour organized by professional guides. Some providers even offer free walking tours. However, at the end of the tour, it is recommended to make a donation. You can also explore San Diego by a boat tour, a guided sightseeing tour or other themed tours. There are plenty of options to choose from. Check our travel guide for the list of providers and links. Number 1. Best views of the city. You can enjoy amazing views of San Diego from one of the following places. Embarcadero Marina Park, San Diego Coronado Bay Bridge, San Diego Skyline Viewpoint, Harbor Island Park or Cabrillo National Monument in Point Loma. Find more impressive views of San Diego in our travel guide. And don't forget to check out top 10 things to do in San Diego. Just click here.